Okay, so for this next demo, I am going to go through and show you how to construct and assemble a charm bracelet. So if you'd like to see how to construct and assemble a charm bracelet, then please keep on watching. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with making some of our own charms. So what I've got here are just three head pins, and then I'm going to take three of the shell pearls and we're going to create wrapped loops so I'm just going to move one of these move those out of the way there so we've got our shell pearl and we've also got our head pin I'm just going to trim the edge off here because it's got a little bit of a there we go now then what we're going to do is we're going to thread on our shell pearl like so and then we're going to use our round nose pliers we're going to pop in our round nose pliers so they're sitting right up against the pearl like so and then what we're going to do is if I show you from an aerial view on this one and then I'll show you side view next time so literally what we're going to do is we're going to push that wire away from ourselves so then you're creating a look like so so you've got like a 90 degree angle and it's going it's going away from you so then what we're going to do with our uh, pliers is instead of having them facing east west we're going to tilt them like so and now they're facing north to south so now we've got them facing north to south we're going to bring that wire all the way back and point it at ourselves then what you're going to do is just hold on to your pearl like so you're going to remove your pliers and this is what you should be left with and then you're going to remove your pliers and then attach the bottom section of your pliers and bring that wire all the way to the back again so you're then creating a loop then you can take your chain nose pliers and just hold on to that loop that you've just created and then with this tail of wire that we've got here we're going to wrap that all the way around as you can see here I'm just holding that there Wrapping, wrapping, and letting that wrap all the way round. Give that a little squeeze there, and then I'm just going to take my flush cutters and trim away the excess. So we've got one charm just ready there. I'll show you that again. Take your head pin take your pearl or bead whatever whatever you have and you're going to pop that all the way down to the end of your head pin pop in with your round nose pliers move the wire at a 90 degree angle away from you tilt bring the wire back towards you remove your pliers and then pop them back in so you're on the underside bring that back round take that out and you've got your there we go and then just wrap that wire all the way around until you get to the gemstone Take your flush cutters and we're going to trim off the excess and sometimes you'll get a little burr from when you've trimmed so just pop in with your chain nose pliers there and just give that a little bit of a squeeze we'll do that on the other one as well I'll just show you that one more time and then we can add on add this all onto our bracelet so thread on your 
pearl and 90 degree angle away rotate your wrist bring the wire back towards yourself take out pop them back in again wrap it round so the wires at the back take that out pop your pliers in and wrap around your head pin, take out your flush cutters, trim off the excess like so and then just tidy up any burrs that you have just there. So we've now got our three kind of charms but I'm going to turn this into one main charm so with that we've got a jump ring here that we're going to open up north to south and I'm going to thread on all three of our wrapped pearls now I've already gone ahead and done this on the charm bracelet carrier that we've got there so I've done two and now I'm literally just going to eyeball where we want this one Pop it through the link, just there, pop that through the link and then you're going to close your jump ring and they're on there nice and secure. You could leave it just as is if you wanted to. So there's one way of having your charm bracelet but we're going to add just that little bit more. So with this I've got quite a few kind of motifs and charms that we've got here. We've got lots of shell shapes, starfish, we've got this sea tortoise. Now all I've done is I've already gone ahead and popped the jump rings on. Again, I've literally just opened the jump ring and then you're just going to thread that through, thread that through the loop just on the top there and bring that round like so. So now we've got ourselves a little carrier for our charm. So now the hard part is just trying to decide what sort of aesthetic you want for your bracelet. So I think we're going to go with the mermaid and I think we'll have the seahorse and I think that's probably enough because I think if we have too much, oh I don't know actually that's, I quite like that and then as I say just have a, you can have a play about with the charms that you've got I quite like that. I quite like that sort of setup there. So we'll take these ones out of the way and then we can kind of decide where we want to pop our charms. So as you can see here, I'm literally just opening that up and then threading that onto our charm bracelet, making sure that's nice and secure. We'll move down to the mermaid. Doing the same again, opening up our jump ring, threading that onto the chain and making sure that's nice and secure. We've got our seahorse and I shall just open that one up again and pop that on. making sure that's nice and secure and then we've got our starfish and then you can pop that just over the top oops through the link just there making sure that's all nice and safe and secure just bring that back I always just give them a little bit of a wiggle there just and then you can feel them kind of scrape on each other. Then we've got our lobster claw clasp. We'll just put that together and there we have got a fantastic anklet or charm bracelet 
with lots of beautiful charms on. I can't wait to see what you do with all of your charms. Thanks for watching.